Hey everybody, I'm your online host, Danny Dean, and joined with me is Andrew Holman, Meg's reporter, and we just watched the Meg's Marauders continue on their perfect record to 11-0 while they took down the Nelsonville York Buckeyes. But tonight we had somebody come out for the Marauders that was a surprise for all of us. That's right, Christian Maddox, who has been dressing for varsity all year but didn't start playing for varsity until a couple weeks ago. He finished with 23 points tonight. He hit four three-pointers. The kid had a great shot all night and really brought a spark to this team. Wow, we did not expect 23 points from Maddox coming up from JV. What a surprise. But what else, you know, kind of shocked you on the court tonight? Well, I mentioned that Maddox had four three-pointers. And what was so surprising was the three-point shooting from the rest of the Marauders. Normally this team can knock them dead from deep, especially with Colton Lilly, Luke Musser, and Caleb Sheets. But tonight they really struggled from behind the arc and were forced to drive to the hoop. Caleb Sheets had incredible tunnel vision when driving to the hoop. He had 19 points. All of those except for one point, which came from a foul shot, were in the paint. Yeah, I mean, once that kid got in the paint, nobody could really stop him. But let's talk about next Tuesday when the Marauders are taking on Vinton County, the only other undefeated team in the TBC Ohio. What are you going to expect that night? That's going to be an incredible game, probably the best game of the season to this point. And I'm expecting Megs to try to up the push the pace and get this game going quickly. The biggest advantage that Vinton County is going to have is the rebounding underneath. And, they sh and the Marauders struggled with that a little bit tonight. They were able to get some offensive rebounds, but couldn't really stop the Nelsonville York possessions. So they need to get some better rebounding, keep the pace going, and they need to have better shooting from deep. Mm -hmm. well, we are so excited to get that. I know you said you're going to get here there early, like what, 5.30? We have to. I mean, it was packed tonight and against Nelsonville York. In that game, we're going to have to get here, what, three, four hours early? Mm -hmm. And I know Vinton County, they travel really large, so it'll be an exciting game to be at. But before that, you got to make sure you tune into our show this Sunday night at 11.34 on WUB right after Sherlock. And you can also catch it on Monday night at 6 p.m. And head over to wub.org slash heroes to get all of your online recaps for the games we've covered this week. And follow us on Twitter and Snapchat. Send us some snaps. You could end up on the show for the rest of the season. And also give us a like on Facebook. For Andrew Holman, I'm your online host, Danny Dean, telling you to be heroic.